Hey folks, Chris Vandeviver here from whylogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today's video is part two in a three-part series on how to export your tracks out of Logic. Today we'll examine how to export multi-output instruments, or to think of it another way, instrument tracks that are made up of sub-instruments. For example, maybe you're using Drum Kit Designer or Drum Machine Designer. Although these are one instrument, such as a drum kit or a drum machine, they're made up of sub-instruments, such as the kick, the snare, the hats. And whatever your goal is for exporting your tracks, perhaps you want to provide the next person in line an opportunity to process or work with the individual elements, such as the kick, the snare, or the hi-hats, instead of just a stereo track. This is very easy in Logic, it just takes a little bit of know-how to accomplish. Now first, let's take a listen to what I have here. I'm using one of the R&B drummers, Rose, with the Slow Jam kit, and real quick, let's just hear what we're working with. Great, we have a kick drum, we have rim shots on the snare, we have hi-hats. Now before we dig into exporting these tracks, it's worth pointing out that the software instruments in Logic start their life out as stereo instruments. If I click on the right side of the Drum Kit Designer plugin and go up to the top, we can see that Drum Kit Designer is designated as a stereo instrument. If I want to either mix or export individual elements, then I need to set this to multi-output. And once we've done that, there are two new buttons on the channel strip for drummer. There's a plus or a minus. And if I press the plus button, we now introduce new channel strips for the individual elements, such as the kick, the snare, the toms, hi-hat and percussion, and then some general auxiliary channels. Now we can either mix just the kick or the snare or export them. But it's worth pointing out, in the first video, I mentioned that Logic can only export tracks that are in the main window. And the main window is this window right here. So even though we've created channel strips for the kick and the snare, we can't export them yet until we introduce those channel strips as track lanes in this main window. So if we go to the mixer, I already have one of the channel strips selected. If I go to the kick and hold shift, I can select all these channel strips and then use control T to introduce them to the main window. Now when I back out, I can see there are seven new track lanes for the individual channel strips that we've created. Perfect. So now if I select all of the tracks, I can use key command command E to now export them all as individual audio files. I'm going to make sure to add the resulting files to the project browser. And the project browser, if we use key command F, is this right here. So as I export, we'll see these new files being created and we can drag them into the project. All right, let's export all these audio files. And now we can see that Logic has exported three audio files, the kick, the snare, and the hi-hats. And that's because these are the only sub-instruments that are actually being performed in this drummer region. So I can select all three of these audio files and introduce them to my project. Create new tracks. And as we can see, we have the individual elements for further processing. I can solo each. And these are reflected on the original channel strips here. Now it's worth pointing out that Logic did not export the whole kit as a stem itself. So this original slow jam kit contains no audio anymore because we've routed the different elements to these new channel strips. You can introduce one of these elements back to the original drummer track lane if you want. All we have to do is go into the mixer and delete one of the elements such as the snare. I select delete anyways. And now when I solo the slow jam kit, it's now once again part of the original drummer track. Now this is great, but I actually prefer to work with Drum Kit Designer or Drummer in a different way. So I'm gonna select all of these channel strips, remove them, and remove these as well. If I select the drummer track lane and go into the library using key command Y, we can see here that Rose uses the slow jam kit. But if I go to the bottom here and select producer kits, we can see there's a slow jam with a plus symbol at the end. If I select that, Logic now creates a slow jam producer track stack for rows, which is really great. If we open up the track stack by clicking on the disclosure triangle in the track header, we can see all the different elements are now broken out. So we no longer have to create channel strips and then introduce them to the main window. That's already been done for us. So if I select everything, 
within this track stack and use key command command E, we can now export the whole kit together. Wonderful. So I'm going to close all these up. And we can see here that now Logic has exported not only the individual elements, such as the overheads, the kick, the snare, but it's now exported a stem of the whole slow jam kit. This is really helpful. So I introduce these to the project, create new tracks, and just like that. So helpful. This saved us so many steps. I love it. Okay, one really important element to point out when it comes to track stacks. I'm going to mute just about every track in this track stack except for the snare top. Let's go right down the line here, mute everything. Okay, if we go to the top level, open the pedal board, I'm going to introduce a spring reverb. And I'm going to set the mix to 100%. So let's take a listen to the snare. Clearly, we have some degree of reverb now on the snare. So if I select the top level track and select the snare top track and then export. We're going to notice something different has occurred here. Select both of these, drag them in. Now take a listen. As you may have noticed, the spring reverb that we've introduced to the top level of this track stack is not imparted on the actual snare track itself. The snare is still dry. And this is really worth pointing out. Anytime you're exporting individual elements of a track stack, they are not going to be processed by the plugins on the track stack itself. So we have the channel EQ, we have the compressor, pedal board, limiter. These have no impact on the individual elements of the track stack, such as the overheads, kick, and snare. The same goes for the stereo output. So if I introduce any sort of processing to the stereo output, this will have no bearing on the individual tracks and the individual track stacks. And it sort of makes sense. I mean, if we're sending these tracks to get mixed or mastered, most likely we should leave them well enough alone and not maximize them or do extensive processing. If you want to export the drummer track stack with the processing from the stereo output or on the track stack itself, then you'll need to individually solo each component and then bounce the track out. So using key command command B to export these files out. Sort of tedious, I know, but it's really the best way to export your tracks with the track stack or stereo output processing baked in. One last point to point out when it comes to different multi-output instruments is I'm gonna introduce Alter Beat to this project. I'll take my drummer region here and right click and then select convert drummer to MIDI region. And I'm going to drag the MIDI region down to Alter Beat. If I go into Alter Beat here, and I'll just select from the drop down menu the Adapt Machine Kit. We'll take a quick listen. Perfect. Now, if we set Alter Beat to a multi output instrument, and then we go into the mixer and we click the plus button, we're introducing new auxiliary channels, but nothing's labeled like kick or snare. This is worth pointing out. Now, if we solo one of these, nothing is being actually routed to these auxiliary channels. Instead, we have to do that ourselves. So if we go into Alter Beat and we go down to the kick, we can see right here, sub one. And if we click on it, we're able to select different subgroups. So if we can see here under auxiliary 20, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for the kick, I'll select three, four. And for the snare, select five, six and the rim five, six, just in case. So then, So with Alter Beat, you have to actually do the routing yourself for multi-output instruments, routing them to the different auxiliary channels that you populate within the mixer. But many of the new multi-output instruments, such as Studio Strings, Studio Horns, Drum Kit Designer, Drum Machine Designer, all of this is done for you once you start populating the mixer by pressing the plus button here. So I hope that was helpful for you. In video three, we'll examine how to export auxiliary channels and send effects. As always, if it was, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, new posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Thanks so much.